And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the East, failing to split my SCVs up against a, a Red Terran. Let's just go with that, a Red Terran in the North. I am refusing to pronounce his name. And, oh my goodness, what's this? I am actually ahead in the APM count. That will probably not, there we go, it finally went away. That is weird. The map is Scrap Station, the home of one of the longest rush distances in the 1v1 maps. It might be the longest, I have not actually measured it. But it is a map, a map that does yield to one kind of harassment, and that is the Banshee Harass. Uh, since we're both Terran, that's pretty much the only kind of harass that it's good for. Um, Little known fact, Reapers cannot jump this distance. They cannot skirt along the wires or anything like that. Uh, that'd be awesome if they could, though. And we have the Red Terran sending an SCV out to oh, just out there to make sure he can get his bears out in time. I am just now saying mine out. Neither one of us did any early scouting in this game, and I think that is because of the map. Uh, I don't like to scout on Scrap Station simply because by the time I can get my SCV back, uh, I have an army. You know? Uh, the, like, the rush distance is so long that I don't feel the need to scout. Um, if he's going for any kind of rush tactics, I'll have seen it um, because I'll have an army by the time he can do it effectively is pretty much my standpoint on that. If you guys have any different opinions on the map let me know but the scouting is really not something that I do on Scrap Station ever. First barracks going up and a tech lab going down for the Red Terran. As he gets up his second barracks as well, he is not going for a oral command. No, not yet. Uh, he's going for another SCV, so uh, he's going to be a little late on the orbital command, but it does give him, or at least it should, give him a lead in the harvester count as soon as that one SCV does pop out. Uh, we're pretty much even, it looks like. I might even have a slight lead in the minerals. Uh, maybe one extra SCV. My first Marine is out. And now he is going for the overall command. So he did get one and a half, I'm going to say, extra SCVs. Uh, more than he should before that overall command went up. Remember, you want that up as soon as possible to get the mules. Mine is finished. And look at the saturation on the minerals. Thanks to that mule. I love you, mule third barracks going up for me and he immediately scans so he's not even going to be using the SCV or the the mules from the orbital command he is going straight into scans not sure what that was about but he did uh, start a factory as well uh, so it looks like he's going to be going two racks into a factory, getting that second refinery. So we should be seeing probably siege tanks, it would be my guess. Uh, usually you don't see Hellions out of a factory against a fellow Terran, but I've seen them a, a few times, so you never know. Pretty standard for me, three racks right now. I am getting the stim pack going. Um... He is absolutely crushing me in APM, so my lead in that did not last long. Looking at what's been spent so far, I have definitely spent a um, lot more money. That's probably because... Oh no, he did just get a larger army for me uh, than me. Larger than me. Oh, but it's going a little bit back and forth. And that is... But I've spent much more overall because I do have mules, so I am able to do that. He did get 60 energy... Uh, but he's not training SCVs or anything like that, which is weird. Uh, we both should be training it. Please tell me I am. Yes, I am training SCVs. Oh, there's the first mule. Uh, so he is using the mules now, but it's kind of strange that he didn't before. Uh, he used the first for a scan. Maybe he likes to do that on this uh, map because he didn't get any early scouting done. But like I said, I don't like to do that. He did get a 
his first siege tank out. Uh, he is researching siege tech as well. Meanwhile, I am pretty much sticking with the infantry ball here. I am getting the first level infantry weapons upgrade, and I'm just pounding out supply depots. I wonder where I got that phrase in my head. And he's going to be moving out with a pretty small army here. Four marines, four marauders, and a siege tank. Um, more marines supplying up, coming back to reinforce. Uh, but he's going to be taking out the rocks. Which is kind of strange if you ask me. I mean, it, it's... It's... Interesting. I'll, I'll give him that. Because, look, I'm sending my army around. My army went out second. By... I'm going to say about 10 seconds it left after he sent his army out, and already I'm at his base, so if he was going for some kind of rush, he completely missed it. And here I see that siege tank, if it was siege shop it would have been attacking me, but it was not. And here I throw down a stim pack, he of course does not have any upgrades on his infantry. Um, and yeah, he's going to be able to finish it thanks to those reinforcements. Uh, he survives with, yeah, we'll, we'll say that's three Marauders, even though that one's pretty low and that one's less than half. Still three Marauders to do initial damage at least. And, oh, almost, I mean, I was about 30 seconds too early with uh, that push if I wanted to use that upgrade. And here he's taking out the second rocks, so he's doing a lot of my uh, push work for me. He's going straight for the rocks to shorten that rush distance so he doesn't go have to go around uh, to the bottom of the map, or at least near the bottom of the map, to get any uh, attacking done. But, you know, as you can see, he's got the rally point set out here. And here he goes. And is he going to go straight into my base? This could be bad for me if he goes straight in and that siege tank starts sieging up. But no, he runs past it. I do spot it and come down, throw down a stim. Of course, he does not have stim still. Um, he's actually not producing that at all. And here when I see that uh, marine come back, I know that he's got the rally point, or at least he did have it set there, so I know he does not have much left in his base. He is getting a banshee that's already out. Um, he is getting two tech labs, so we should be seeing quite a few banshees. It is a little late, ten and a half minutes uh, for any kind of banshee harass. Of course, he spent way too much on the army and the siege, ta the siege tech. Now here, I'm pretty sure he can see me since I saw him when he went there, but I'm moving anyways. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to finish it off here, but I throw down the stem. I'm hoping my marauders can carry me, and they do. Even though uh, the siege tank did finally come up, I survive with two marauders by the time the banshee comes over, and of course I cannot attack that with this marauder, uh, but I don't feel the need to run away because I couldn't save him anyways. Saving your units is overestimated, overrated. Let them die, I don't care. Uh, one thing I never do research at the tech lab is nitro packs because I never get the, the reapers out, uh, especially on a map like this where really, I mean, I, I could do a reaper jump here and get to the back of his base, but if he had any kind of siege tank here like he did before, uh, that siege tank would hit that reaper. I am finally going for an expansion. It is quite late for that, um, but looking at the unit's lost tabs, I have taken a big lead in this game, including the army. Uh, let's look at the spending. Almost entirely uh, one-sided. He has spent more on the army, but of course he lost a lot of that. He does. A, he drops another scan right into the same spot that he had before, and he's sending banshees my way. Oh, but I'm sending my army his way, and of course I would win this battle um, in terms of who could take out the other's army first. And here he's starting to take out uh, my SCVs. I did put up missile turrets a little out of position, but he's forced to take them back because I easily took out the 
like three or four marines that were uh, guarding the ramp at the front of his base. Did I ever research siege tech? I did not. Uh, so these siege tanks aren't doing as much damage as they could, but considering I saw those banshees, I did not think it was going to be the best idea to get those out just to be destroyed by the banshees, because as you can see here, uh, he did focus down my marines with the banshees, and he's got one left, and it's pretty much not attacking anything. So I'm trying to do as much damage as I can before the, sea the banshee does wipe us out, because it will eventually. Um, I got the factory down into the red, starting to take out uh, the SCVs, and I do take out most of them. And more Banshees on the way, along with my Medivacs to try to help out as much as they can. Of course, he's got no anti-air left, so I should be going, yes, here I go for Vikings. Um, because they're the best to take out Banshees. They can take out Banshees without being attacked at all. Keeping my my medevacs in the vicinity to try to help out these guys. They're doing a horrible job of healing up though. Um, even uh, those two uh, banshees can easily out DPS the medevac, uh, but I'm going to stay in here to make sure he doesn't do anything uh, suspicious or crazy. I don't know what that could possibly be. Factory just blowing up now. Vikings on the way. Oh, but he gets a Viking out of his own to try to take out my medevacs, but it's going to be two on one here, and I don't care what kind of Viking you got, it cannot win the two on one. Banshee's going around, that should be game, there he goes. And the red Terran has left, still refusing to say his name. So that was, uh, interesting. I'll admit it was not the best game. Uh, but I am quite low on games. I do apologize. Uh, I'm actually recording this the day that I did not put one uh, a game up, and I'm so sorry for that, you guys. I'll do my best to make sure that does not happen again. I'm going to get um, a, a week's worth, hopefully, of videos done tonight, if I can. And I'll have them all ready for upload day after day after day. And I hope I never have to miss a day again. Um, he did go for an expansion down at the bottom, started to get production facilities. Uh, but uh, overall, it was pretty much game over once uh, his little counter uh, attack here got taken out. Um, remember, upgrades always beats um, a, a slightly larger army. I don't want to say it beats every larger army, but uh, I always like to get the upgrades early because it does help out in the long run. Um, you know, one marine, uh, you know, one upgrade is worth five marines, um, if I remember right, because no, one upgrade is worth six marines. I apologize because they do six damage. Uh, if I get the upgrade, then they go up to seven. Uh, so six marines, 300 minerals versus 100 minerals, 100 gas, uh, that's pretty much worth it to me. Uh, so, upgrades, spy in the counter, and uh, when he comes with banshees, you get vikings. That's pretty much the morals of this game. So anyways, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Bye.